Hi there. Now, in this example, we're asked to find the area enclosed by the cardioid with equation r equals a multiplied by all of 1 plus cos theta. Now, you can see we've got a sketch here of the cardioid. So we're looking for the area then enclosed within this curve. And to find the area enclosed between any curve, what we need to do is we just write out the formula here that the area is always equal to then half the integral of r squared with respect to theta. And as for limits, well, there's two different ways that we can attack this problem. Our limits could be the half lines theta equaling 0, and then we're going all the way around the curve back to theta equaling 2 pi. We've always got to work in radians, remember. So we could approach the problem as theta going from 0 to 2 pi. Now this is not the only way that we could work out this area. By having a sketch, quite often you might find that there is some symmetry about the sketch. And in this example, we can see that the top half is exactly the same as the bottom half here. So I could do this as working out the area of just the top half and doubling it. So if I approached it with that in mind, then the area would be twice half times the integral of r squared with respect to theta. Only this time the limits go between the half lines theta equals 0 to half a turn. Half a turn being pi radians. Now, as I say, I'll work out both of these versions for you and you can see how they compare. Well, if we start with this first version here, then this is going to be equal to a half times the integral of r squared with respect to theta. Now, a is a constant, so I can bring this out the front of my integral. So if I square that, we get a, a squared, and then we've got the integral going from naught to 2 pi of the remaining part of r squared, which is 1 plus cos theta, all squared. OK, so put that in brackets, we square it, and we're integrating with respect to theta. So if we expand the bracket, OK, then we've got half a squared at the moment, integral between 0 to 2 pi. Expanding the bracket in the usual way, square the first term, that's 1 twice the product of our terms, that's going to be plus 2 cos theta, and then square the last term, that's going to be plus cos squared theta. And we're integrating that all with respect to theta. Now to handle the integral of cos squared theta, what we need to do is turn to the identity that cosine 2 theta is identical to 2 cos squared theta minus 1. should be familiar with this from basic trigonometry of double angles. And if we rearrange this for cos squared theta by adding 1 to both sides and then dividing by 2, you're going to find that cos squared theta is the same then as a half plus a half cos 2 theta. So we can use this, substitute it into here, and what have we got? Well, we've got a half a squared anyway at the front of the integral, the integral going from 0 to 2 pi. But then what we've got in here is we've got this one plus the half coming from cos squared theta, and that's going to give us 1 and a half or 3 over 2. Then you've got this term plus 2 cos theta, and then we've got the remaining part of our cos squared theta, which is the half cos 2 theta. So plus a half cos 2 theta. And we're integrating that then all with respect to theta. So if we integrate this now, okay, we just put our half a squared there, 
have some square brackets here. If we integrate 3 over 2 with respect to theta, that's going to be 3 theta over 2. The integral of 2 cos theta, well that's 2 sine theta, so we've got plus 2 sine theta there. And then the integral of a half cos 2 theta is going to be 1 quarter of sine 2 theta. Okay, and then if we just finish off our brackets there, going between the limits 0 to 2 pi. Now all I need to do is substitute my limits in. We've got half a squared at the front here, and then if we put 2 pi first of all for theta, we're going to have 3 times 2 pi, which is 6 pi, divided by 2, that's going to be 3 pi. Then we've got 2 times the sine of 2 pi, well that's 0, so we've got plus 0. And then we've got quarter sine of 4 pi, well that's going to be 0 as well. So that's that part, and from this we need to subtract what we get when we substitute the zero in. That term is going to be zero, sine of zero is zero, and the sine of zero here would be zero. So that's going to be zero. So what we have end up with is an area of 3 pi times a squared over 2, or 3 a squared pi over 2. Okay? And we could write here square units, okay, because it is an area. Now I did say that there was another way that we could work this area out by just doubling the area of just the top section of our cardioid because of the symmetry of the shape. So if we do that, let's just border this off here then that area okay, is going to be given by 2 times a half times the integral going from naught to pi then of r squared integrated with respect to theta. Now, when we work this out, the working is going to be, well, virtually the same as what we've done here, only we're just going to have twice it. So we're going to end up all the way down here, and it's just going to be twice this result, except the limits are going to be from naught to pi. So let's just write that in here, that this is going to equal then 2 multiplied by a half a squared, and then we've got inside these square brackets, 3 theta over 2 plus 2 sine theta, plus a quarter sine 2 theta. And those limits then are going between naught and pi. Now when we clean this up, we've got 2 times a half a squared, well that's just going to be a squared. And then if we substitute pi in first of all, we're going to get 3 pi over 2 for that term there. And then the sine of pi, well that's 0, so we've got plus 0. A quarter sine of 2 pi, that 2 is 0. And from this, we need to subtract what we get when we substitute 0 in. And when we substitute 0 in to each of these three terms, we end up with 0. So what do we get? Well, obviously the same answer. 3 a squared pi divided by 2. And again, I'll just write square units there. So you can compare which method you want to follow. I don't think it really makes much difference in this example anyway. But I'll leave it up to you. So I hope that example has been some use to you and you'll be able to carry on with further examples like this.